Okay, that works just fine. There we go. Starting with the quarterfinals now, which is now the first best of three of the day between Warchief Rich and Hawk down here. And they're both going for kind of a standard opening. It's quite likely that we will see Warden on the arena stand here. And he will probably just creep this here with his Ancient of Four. It's already positioned quite far to the right side. So he'll probably pull this in a way that he can use Lightning Shield on all the three creeps here. And then he also can move his Ancient of Four quite quickly over here to creep towards his level 3 Warden. There's the Archmage that was to be expected against the Warden. Which is basically standard on Tarina stand. Now Hulk's altar is also to the bottom side here, so he will most likely creep this first, the Goblin Lab, this for level 2. And then he will, I guess, go for the Merc Camp and then expand here the green spot. Although that could change. We will have to see. He goes for the scout from here already, which is quite nice to do on Tarina stand actually. To just keep track of exactly what the Nidalf is doing. Gets another scout from here to scout for a potential tree of life placed here, a potential counter expansion. Now at first I expected to get the scout from like here on this bridge, or over here to see when Rich is moving to the right side of the map there. But instead he gets this here, actually I think blocks in the wisp here, and has scout information for the tree of life here. Did pull the creeps here already, got the lightning shield, but in a way that he only has the lightning shield on those two units here, not on this one. So he messed up a little bit, I guess. It's not optimal, but I mean, it's still quite good. Hawk going for this creep as well. Not using the lightning shield himself, it seems. And also lighting the bottom and only tank this guy. But I guess it's fine. Those guys know what they are doing. Well, maybe build another scout from here, actually. We'll have to see. And he's just going for more units in total. Got that scout footman on the map as well. He wants to prevent the second engine of war from coming up. Especially at the Merc camp. Because then Warden without Mercs and so on, Hawk is gonna have a much easier time defending against that. No Arcane Tower for him yet, and also he's playing open base. And that's why he definitely needs an Arcane Tower, and he's playing the Scout Tower now to get into an Arcane Tower later on. Rich instantly moved his Ancient of War over here, as explained earlier, so he can quickly get to level 3. Although he won't fully get level 3 from this, he still needs the Green Camp here to actually get the full level up. Rich also has some two wisps here already, so he's basically in a good spot to have them help here seat. while fighting or building something to push or anything similar to that. Now Hog also goes for that Mercan while Rich is trying to get his level 3. Got a one of fighting shield, which can be really strong. But also not necessarily, because the thing is he can only cast a one of fighting shield, like not on the warden itself. Because the hero that it, that has it can only cast on other Players units or heroes. Attack. So casting on an archer or a wisp, they're really easy to kill, so it's not gonna do so much, probably. And Hawk sending his militia back here will build a farm with this one worker here, not getting into trouble circle yet, because he doesn't have the resources or the supply for it. Nice catch on the wisp, and he actually gets the kill. It's a quite nice room, it's an, an additional 25 XP. It's never bad. Level 3 warden. A really early tech actually, so Rich is not playing a long tier 1 game, also he's not going for mercs, he actually is going for mercs, but he's still attacking quite quickly. No counter expansion yet, no tree of life, and he will just get into early drives with this build of spot limit. And also Scus is here with the archer, loses it in the process though. He didn't even try to shut them all, probably because there's the reel from the goblin lab and he couldn't have done it in time anyway, I suppose. And now the fight is coming. Let's see if it's Shadow Strike or Fan of Knives. Seems to be Shadow Strike. Or, no, actually, probably Fan of Knives or the workers here. He should split them, it would probably be best. And just Shadow Mel's a warden. He just wants to buy time for his tech to kick in. His oh, Hunter's Hall is quite light though. And there's the Shadow Strike level 2, so it is Shadow Strike. Nice deny by a Hawk. There was no experience for the warden. There's the Mercs now for the Nile of Barrow down. Another Shadow Strike on the Archmage, and he has to be quite careful. There's no Troll Shadow Priest left for him to heal him up. Rich already killed that one. And might also steal the second one, although there's some Wisp here, so Hawk will probably get this one. But there's another Shadow Strike. There's actually two more Shadow Strikes. He will get the Shadow Strike, and the that Archmage is gonna die. He's dead. And he denies him with the eggs from the Tour Berserker. He would have. Wait, he didn't deny him? 
No way. Did the warden actually get XP for that? I'm not sure at this point. It seems like she got XP for it, but she would have gotten more, I think, for a level 3 hero. I think it was denied, like, I'm honestly not sure. Anyway, like, Hawk had no chance of saving his Archmage. If he would have TP'd, he would have died to the damage over time from the Shadow Strike. Loses his trouble in an unfortunate position here. He gets quite a lot of stuff picked off. There's the Arkantau finally. There's the Denied, that was the Denied this time for sure. Warden didn't get any XP. And Shino 4 gets rid of the farm here, so Hawk has to rebuild it at some point, and he also loses his scouting information. Now moves out with Footman a little bit, but he needs to be really careful here. There's the pan, and there's only one Arcane Tower so far, so it's gonna be hard for Hawk to defend this. Double Angel Floor coming up, more Wisps as well, and he's just gonna go into a stride to have to spell for the Waffle Mantles. And just gain map control through that. Hawk definitely not in the best spot, pulling Militia already as well, because he knows he has to defend this real heavily now. And now the Wand of Lightning Shield is really strong, because there's the second hero. And he can easily pick this tower off with the piercing damage here, but all his piercing damage is dying over here, so he has to pull it away. Still, the tower died, that's all Rich had to achieve here. No more Arcane Tower, there's basically no defense for a Hawk here. A player's no static defense, at least. And there's the Militia coming, but against those heroes, and especially with Lightning Shield, that does so much damage. And the Drites are already coming as well, and Hawk has almost nothing against it. He needs to get towers up, but how is he supposed to get those towers up? That's gonna be really, really hard for him. Panda dealing a lot of damage back here, he's out of mana though, Warden still has one Shadow Strike, so one additional footman is gonna die. Lightning Shield is over, so Rich, the prime time of Rich here is basically over. But he will just move back to his base, go to his actually non-existent shop, and not get a clarity because the shop isn't there yet. He's just still more aggressive, he's still trading with just footman. Now pulling away though. But he's rather baiting, it seems. He's running away from the Mud Golem, I guess. He has to be careful that he doesn't lose his warden, but she might have Blink. She didn't use a Fan of Nice or Blink, so I'm not sure if she has Fan of Nice or Blink. Maybe he didn't skill anything yet because he didn't have to. And also trying to go for a counter expansion, but Hawk instantly scouted it with the Peasant, which is quite a nice scout there. There's a Dispel upgrade, Abolish Magic, and another Dryad. And it seems like Players Rich just wants to, attack. instead of being really aggressive, just wants to instead go here now and make sure this Tree of Life goes up. Because Hawk actually is in quite a nice position to defend. He got those towers up in time. Rich wasn't able to cancel those with his heroes only while he was still pressuring here, so the towers got up quite nicely. And also Rich, um, Hawk that is, I mean, can still get Mercs, and he did so, also got the Zeppelin to maybe dodge against some Shadow Strikes and so on. A player's force is and we'll have a nice time defending here, I guess. Now Rich made sure that his Tree of Life would be in a good position. To go up wouldn't be cancelled, so he wants to be aggressive again, he wants to make sure the human has to defend here, to buy some time for his own expansion. And make sure his base is safe. Also, Angel of Wonders and Angel of Wind going up. He needs an Angel of Wind for a Hippogriff against that Zeppelin, then he can keep track of it and also kill it. And that completely negates the Zeppelin harass from Hawk. Now there's attack for Hawk already as well, a Shredder too, which is quite necessary for Lumber. And his Zeppelin is not in the best position, gets quite some damage on him already. And the Hippogriff is already halfway done, so Hawk won't do much at all here with this. Hippogriff harass, I'm afraid. And the Tree of Life is already on its way as well. Nature's Blessing is already researched, so he has quite an easy time getting there. Still getting more Wisps, he needs quite some Lumber for this, especially if he gets his expansion up. Hawk just reinforcing this a bit more, getting a Blacksmith as well, and waiting for his tech to finish, and just trying to buy time, but there's the Hippogriff already. Hawk will probably just lose his TP to this straight away and not achieve much at all here. There's a Shadow Strike on the first server circuit. Hawk doesn't want to lose it, he knows he's in a bad spot here, he gets a Water Mental List belt, and just instantly TPs out. It's level 4 for the Warden already though. Panda almost level 2, he will get his level 2 now from the spot here. And Hawk scouts this again, he wants to have enough scouting information about this expansion, wants to know what's up exactly. And just goes with some creeping himself now, because there's really not much else he can do. Now Warden, Running around with two Dryads, she wants to pressure Hawk quite a bit, and he might actually be able to cancel. No, he won't be able to cancel Blacksmith, I guess. 
but he will at least get one worker. He didn't want to commit to the blacksmith or anything. He could have killed my workers here by forcing him to finish building it or repair it. But instead he wants to quickly find the opponent's army to keep him from creeping and try to kill off more units, deal more damage. And that throw circle will be in quite some trouble. He will die if he gets a shadow strike. There we go. It's level to blink. Here's a shadow strike. He died. It wasn't denied this time. It's more experience for the warden. Still, Hog finally got his tier 2 take. Let's see if he's going to decide to try to go into a tier 2 push or a tier 3 push. But I would guess that he's going to try to go into tier 3 play and there's the castle. He will do so. We're probably going to see some tanks in this game. But Rich has the panda instead and also his expansion up quite early already. Getting that tier 3 take now as well. Almost halfway finished. He went for a really strong tier 2 play with early Nature's Blessing, early Hippogriff against the Zeppelin, shop as well, early Drides with Dispel, so he completely negated all of the potential harass that Hawk could have done. Went, to, went for safe creeping, could easily get his expansion up with Nature's Blessing and having such insane map control. And now he's even pushing into the base, has to be careful here though. Those three towers can still do quite a lot, especially with their positioning. MK almost done as well. He won't be able to, to kill that altar anymore to cancel the MK. But he could still try to just kill the altar for later on, so uh, there's no problem in coming too soon. And now he also has to be careful. No mana on the warden. There's a bolt to deal some more damage to her, but there's no reach quite yet actually. And no more additional bears coming because Warchief Rich doesn't want to break into upkeep. So no heal for the Warden for now. There's also no staff of preservation, so she's she has to be careful. Also really not the best items for Warchief Rich here. I mean, those items are quite nice for auto attacking and such, since Warden is an agility hero, but Warden and Panna mainly rely on spells instead of auto attacking, so you would like to get some nice Sobi mask or Elirius look accuracy or something along those lines. Rope of the Magi works just fine as well. And he wants to try to get some creep spots from Hawk here. So Hawk has gets less experience for his heroes and especially his Monk King. But Hawk has something to say about that. Although if they go for a straight up fight, both of them, Hawk will definitely lose it. And he also has to be really careful because there's no TP or anything to save his heroes. There's only a double heal scroll. So this is really quite risky. And there's a ton of experience. That's Panda level 3. I don't think Hawk should move in here. Level 2 Breath of Fire and level 2 Shadow Strike with Bling. That's a dead Archmage really quickly. Oh, nice! Dodges the bolt with the Bling with an offensive Bling. This spell is slow and now can easily pick the Mike Golem up with the Stall from Drives. And also, all the time he had to scout here with the Hippogriff. He had the scouting information all the time with Ultra Vision during Nighttime for Night Elf. And also, High Ground Vision from the Hippogriff. And he's breaking upkeep already, yeah. actually. And there it is. There's a triple workshop, and Hog is going into tanks. He wants to go for some distraction here. Wants to keep Watchy Fridge busy to be able to get a second expansion up, probably. And also just to somehow get a good position in this game, because his MK is 0 XP. Orange Mage not level for it against really strong Night of Heroes. And there's also the Illyrious Field of Accuracy for Rich now, which is really quite nice. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. Third, Mason re upgrade already as well, so his bases are still quite safe, even though he doesn't have so many towers, but with his building positioning, they're just really in quite a nice defensive position, so it's quite good. Got the Arcane Sanction as well for Magic Sentry, nothing else so far yet. And he's just queuing well, up tank after tank after tank, attack. getting. 2-1 upgrades now for those, and Rich realizes what's going on, he will have to go defend. He bought a TP and invul pot at the shop here as well, so no invul pot for Hawk. Instant scout from Rich at the expansion here, wants to confirm if Hawk is expanding again already or not. Because the main thing Hawk wants to do with those tanks there is buy time and deal economy damage to get a better economy himself. He's not confident seen. enough to to be able to go for a second expansion yet, and he's right so, because Rich still has a lot here. Brings all his Dryads and Troll Circuit and Troll Shadow Priest to defend against this, and at the mean in the meantime defends against this here with Ancients of War and Panda, and also he has a Talon already for that Fairy Fire, which makes it a lot easier to kill off those Siege Ancients. A second Tree of Life as well, 
which actually once you get the second, second expansion up, still the train continues, more tanks are coming, but he's pulling them back now because he knows he can't do so much here right now. Our and slowly but truly, Hawk attack. wants to tower up this expansion. He can't go straight up for it, straight away for it though, because even though he's going for three workshop tanks, Rich still has superior map control. And Rich is in a really, really good position. Gets this creep camp here as well. Let's see what item he gets. Will get a second expansion. And Hawk is really in quite some trouble here. There's the priest adapt upgrade. He's getting some priests to heal up his heroes and units. Maybe also go for some inner fire at some point. Although it can just be dispelled. And Rich found the rune braces, which is not exactly the best. It helps against bolt, but that is basically it. So he might sell it, although with double expansion he will probably keep it. And Hawk just going for straight up crash now, wants to kill those bears. But the warden is catching up with those units here. But at the same time, Hawk just wants to stay in this fight as long as possible to buy enough time for his tanks to kill this tree of life. The Ancients of War are moving over here already. Rich is aware that he has to defend the tree of life here. Uproot Sim, so the armor type changes. So it's not fortified anymore, so tanks don't deal bonus damage anymore. He will probably still lose a tree of life though, I think. Which is quite nice for Hawk. But still, it seems like Hawk is still struggling quite a bit. And oh, actually, I'm really sorry for missing this one. He lost Tree of Life at the bottom left because Hawk had so many tanks already that he sent some down here as well. And even though two Ancients of War were defending, it was not enough. Lost his Paladin in the process because Rich was chasing him quite heavily with the Shadow Strike here and the Riot. He just used a level 2 Shadow Strike even though he's level 5. Not sure if he misclicked or if he just didn't skill anything yet. But this game is all over the place now. And Hawk now actually dealt enough damage with his tanks. He's still dealing more damage with his tanks actually. Got rid of all the expansions of Rich. And getting rid of Moonwells as well now. And you can see Rich with 76 supply, not much gold left. So that's basically all he's gonna get. He's also quite heavily supply blocked. Against Hawk with double gold mine income. Although his main gold mine will run out at some point. And actually in quite a nice position now. Got his Paladin back as well, and he just went into Mortars now with Priests with Adept Upgrade. Will get a Mass Upgrade as well, so it's Knight, Mortar, Priest. And he will actually try to go for a more straight up fight, instead of just laming with tanks. He got enough out of his tanks already basically, and now is the time to push. You can also see the Fragmentation Shards, the T3 upgrade for the Mortar teams, they deal a lot more splash damage, like the splash radius is a lot bigger. But still, it's a level 5 ward and a level 5 panda. Level 3 shadow strike and level 3 breath of fire, which is really really hard to heal against. There's only one heal scroll for Hawk, which is definitely not enough for a long fight against a level 5 panda. But 3 more mortars coming, actually, nope, he cancels 2 of them, gets tanks instead, to get rid of this tree of life here again. So he still wants to buy more time for more units to come here, and then kill this expansion while fighting here with his main army to make sure that Rich never really gets a good economy going. Also starts building towers with one peasant here, which is not a big investment at all, but it will pay off if he gets enough towers up so he can actually secure the second expansion quite soon. There's the hog, um, there's the scout from Rich though, with the bear, he knows what hog is planning to do, so he instantly scouts right with bear to kill it as well. Didn't staff knight, so he actually loses the knight to the shadow strike which is quite unfortunate. But those two tanks are coming are quite attack. soon. It's only 0-1 upgrades for the knights though, and 2 zero for the mortars, that's not too much. On the other hand though, Warchief Rich has 0, zero upgrades, so it's still just fine. Those two moonwells are so low HP actually, it's crazy that he didn't manage to actually kill them. If he would have managed to kill them, it would be really, really nice. And there's more militia coming here trying to get rid of the bear, but that's not gonna happen. Maybe if he brings the Shredder as well, but against the Engine of Four, that's gonna be quite hard. Warden still harassing a bit more, tries to go for a mortar team, gets healed up by the Holy Light though, and dodges the bolt with his blink. And which is basically trying to buy time for his expansion here, can't go for a straight up fight in the towers and such. And both of them are just waiting for better army, more expansions and so on. Rich also aware of those models here, so he repairs them. And also brought his shredder now, he has more than enough number for the moment. A and just wants 
everything he has to fight. Four Ancients of War down here, he moved some from up here to down here to defend, because there's nothing he has to defend here really, because he's there with his main army anyway. Hawk realizes that he probably won't be able to kill the Tree of Life against four Ancients of War, so many heal wisps, repair wisps, and uh, the, the Tree of Life being able to root up, so he rather goes for the Goldmine and delays this by a bit more. And now we might see a fight breaking out here. Hawk will have a hard time running away from this. He's got a TP though. He's got double staff. And those mortars are dealing a lot of damage. There comes the panda though. Warden blinks into the bag, gets the Shadow Strike on the mortar team here. Breath of Fire already used as well with Drunken Haste. Drunken Haste not dispelled. There's a clap as well from the Mountain King on level 2. Paladin has to be quite careful, get staffed out, but the second staff was on Paladin, so no more staff here. He's losing quite some knights, and that's the level 6 for the one. No mana for the ultimate, though. He definitely went for the ultimate, I would say. Definitely not level 3 bling against human. Although that's quite nice. But Rich picks off so many units now, and it's 51 supply for Hawk against 67 from Rich still. Warden is in trouble, but he has that invul pot. During the invul pot, he will get enough mana to blink away. And we'll also get the retreat here from the bears, so that warden will definitely stay alive. A a Did he actually lose his tree of life? How? Didn't expect it to be able to happen. Anyway, Hawk did a really good job by killing a tree of life again. I do know how it happened. Like, Hawk was attacking this with his two tanks, and it was like, he's never gonna do that. But. Rich didn't uproot it, so it got bonus damage from the tanks. And also didn't eat a tree because he didn't uproot. And didn't repair with the wisps in time at least, I guess. So that's how he lost the tree of life. So he forgot to macro there and was mainly focused on the fight, so that's really really good for Hawk now. Because now the tree of eternity moved, so Rich will get a gold mine again. It's actually gonna be one gold mine against one gold mine, and Hawk's gold mine will run out quite soon. That's still really good that he got the tree of life. But he needs to secure another gold mine for him really, really soon. And he will actually try to pressure this enough to either kill a Rich, the gold income from Warchief Rich, or to secure the expansion himself. But there's the Avatar of Mansions. Panda is close to level 6 as well. Level 6 Panda and level 6 Warden is gonna do a lot. There's a bit of a fire that hurts quite a bit, although the priest staff master upgrades are half more HP. But instant focus on Paladin again. He should really swap the staff to the MK, I feel. The staff's the Paladin out again, but that means his second staff is gone. Bolts the Warden, he wants to keep her at bay a little bit. Those towers easily get cancelled. Still no second expansion for Hawk, because he can't get this up here. Loses his level 2 MK and just loses the game. That was really, really well done by Warchief Ridge.